All right, so we got 3x plus 4 times 8x minus 15 in parentheses equals 10. So we can't add the 3x and the 4 for a couple of reasons. One, they're not like terms. This is an x term, that's a number. And for another reason, um, we've got to multiply first. So, so we've got to multiply this guy in here first. Um, so it's kind of kind of a PEMDAS rule there in a way because it's you got to multiply before you can add when you're simplifying. So so the first thing we're doing here is we're simplifying, right? So let's go write this out and just go ahead and write down what you get for this. Four multiplied by eight x minus fifty. Just go ahead and write it out. Take press pause on the video. Anyone watching from home, if you need more time. Uh, solve this equation. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just go over that then. So 4 times 8x, we get 32x. And then 4 times negative 15, negative 60. So that's the first step, is to mul just multiply that 4 in. And then we just write everything out again. Does that make sense? All right. Any questions on that? So the next step is we still have to simplify the left because we can't. So in other words, when you're solving equations, you keep simplifying until you can't simplify anymore. And we can we can continue to simplify here, simplify here because we have like terms, right? So go ahead and add those like terms together and, and write down what you get. So 3x plus 32x, did we get 35x? Any questions on that? So these two add together, we got 35x, then we just write everything out again. And now you'll notice that we can't simplify anything here anymore because we have an x term and a number and these guys can't be combined right they're not like terms right it's kind of like having I don't know 35 apples minus 60 dollars or something like that these are not like terms right so at this point we need to start solving the equation that means like adding and subtracting things to both sides dividing both sides by something, all that, all that solving stuff, right? So once we've simplified everything which we have, now it's time to actually solve because we want to figure out that x actually equals some number at the end, right? That's what we're trying to figure out, like what number is the answer, right? So everybody try to solve that, take the first step and let, and let me know what you get. And anyone watching from home, just press pause on the video and do it. All right, so hopefully what we've figured out is let's add 60 to both sides. That makes sense? If we add 60 to here, negative 60 plus 60 makes 0. And that gets rid of that negative 60. So now we just have the 35x on that side, which is getting us closer to the end. It's, it's, we're getting towards just having x on its own. We're trying to get x all by himself. Trying to get x by itself, right? And you get the x plus stuff. So we add 60 and we get that equals that. Any questions on that? Right, so there's one more step to take to get the answer. So go ahead and take write that step down. And, and uh, so the next step, if anyone's talking, is you got it. it's 35 times x. So we need to divide by 35 to get x on its own, right? So if I divide by 35, 35x over 35 leaves me with 1x, or just x, because look, the 35 over 35 gives 1, right? Um, 70 over 35 is 2, so we end up with x equals 2. And especially if you're taking a test, let's check, check these answers. So I don't expect you to check every single equation you do, but if you're taking a test, definitely check. And definitely, and it'd be nice to check 
at least some of these, so we at least know how to do it. So if we plug, our original equation was 3x plus 4 times 8x minus 15 equals 10, so the missing number is here in here. So if we plug that missing number in for x like that, that's how we check. And we just try to figure out, is that equal to 10? Because it was supposed to be equal to 10, remember? So that was the original equation, and then we're checking here, right? So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 times, and 8 times 2 is 16, right? So I'm just multiplying things out and figuring out the answer. 16 minus 15 is 1. 4 times 1 is just 4. And what's 6 plus 4? Is it 10? Right, so that checks out, doesn't it?